yeah, do you have any vivid memories other than your mentoring experience? Um, that you you know, I think it's it's constant. I mean, anytime I'm at any free arts events, um, I've been able to meet other, I don't want to say like graduates of our program, but others who've, who've been in it for a while at different levels. I mean, we have one um, young guy who is now totally goal-oriented and set on, you know, going and studying um, English and poetry, I believe, at ASU, and just to see the growth in him. And, you know, it's it's amazing because he still struggles and speaks openly about struggling emotionally to trust and to have some different, you know, um, issues with those types of things. But he feels so much more supported and um just positive he has a he has such a better sense of self and knowing that there are people who care for him so even if he wasn't you know born into a situation where he feels that those primary people are there for him he now has an extended family in free arts and in fact has a you know several of ours have mama Taniqua, who uh our free arts program director who is amazing and touches the kids a lot so it's really incredible to see the growth in these you know, and, you know, I don't know if I can say names, so I don't I don't want to say names, but just this boy in particular, he, he can have behavioral issues and he's very open about them. But he always goes back to kind of resetting the button and knowing what he's learned through free arts that he's going to be OK. And there's outlets and there's safe places for him to go. And that's all you can ask for. I mean, it just continues to wow me of what free arts is capable of so yeah I'm trying to connect in my head the dots of who that is and I think I remember who he is and um very very unique guy and and he's gonna mm-hmm. go a long way I think in in his life and I think the struggles that he's had in the past is just gonna help him to be successful absolutely so and they have a lot of success stories like that you know they've had individuals that are their alumni you know and I've come into contact with one individual that you know they she was a part of the program and then she ended up becoming an employee of the nonprofit and and it was just amazing to work with her um, and she bloomed into this beautiful woman and um, I don't believe she's there anymore but uh, I know that they've stayed in contact with her and see mm-hmm. how she has um, how free arts changed her life and obviously more they ways than one because they true. gave her work and um, yeah, I'm sure that we can capture a lot of those types of stories over the years of the work that Free Arts does. Free Arts has been around for close to 17 years. So, um, you know, they, they have brought a lot of healing powers to many people in the Valley. That's true. And I think that, you know, they try to capture and quantify for all of the nonprofit things that you have to do. But I, I'm sure it goes much further than we're able to even really capture. And I think I think I have come across many people just in the most random ways and you know whether I'm at first Friday and talking to some different people and it's it is it's truly awesome how many lives it's touched and or that people have an awareness you know even oh free arts oh that is so cool you volunteer for them they're such a great organization you know so sometimes people don't always have the time but hopefully if there's if they even spread the awareness or you know you know write a check here and there it's just it's everything everything matters and going back to every child matters. It, it's true. And so when you meet all these people and have all these points of connection, it's just really cool that they know the central focus of, of free arts and they want to help these kids in our community. And with the down economy, it's been pretty inspiring to see how many people recognize that the need is up and, you know, we don't have all the, the means. So I think through our event and the fall lunch and all the things we're trying to really go for. I think 2011 could be a really good year. Yeah, I think they're going to accomplish their goals. So when IKEA supports them 100% and whatever that And we're lucky is. to have a good uh, board of people as well that mm-hmm. are, you know, the officers and the members of Free Arts Board are also pretty incredible and give a lot to Free Arts as well. So it's just a very unique uh, organization that I think accomplishes so much and we're pretty humble. I mean, if you really look at free arts on paper and the staff, they do amazing things with very, very little. So it just goes to show that if we can get more people involved, like the more power in numbers, you know, to be able to help all these kids. And yeah, I remember back in my days 
looking and trying to figure out from a grassroots standpoint, you know, what charity do we want to work with? Um, I was hired to plan the grand opening for the IKEA store here. And we went through probably a good 10 week process and selected about 10 charities. And we wanted to work with an organization that was in line with the IKEA mission statement, but then also they maybe were up and coming and that they needed IKEA's help and to place their mark on the map, you know, how our partnership will help them to develop. And then it will develop us as a, as a company, as a store, as a coworker base. And they were narrowed down to the top five. And, you know, we went again through another few weeks of, you know, debates as to who the charity would be. And, and I was just rallying for them because I had seen their work at hand as to what, this partnership could do for them and when they were the final candidate I remember making that phone call to Stephanie and Stephanie Small is not there anymore but she pretty much helped to start the organization right. back 17 years ago and and she was just so ecstatic. I mean, the tone of her voice and the sound um, that she was making over the phone was, you know, she. I think she almost cried. <laughs> I'm um, sure she did. Yeah. And, and it, for me, it, it just really was very, I don't know. I don't even know the words. Like, I, I, through my work, was able to help this organization. You know, I don't know. I say it's one of my little achievements. Oh, it's little. Planning. It's huge. <laughs> I hope you know how well regarded you are by everyone. Yeah. I mean, you do amazing things for free arts. You really do. And IKEA is, I mean, so, I can't oversell it enough. I mean, they're just mean so much, you know? Yeah, it made me want to do more. So, from a professional and a, a personal standpoint so you know yeah, I just I remember that very vivid, vividly it's you know in my heart and a great forever. day feeling that oh the yeah executive director yeah. is like yeah <laughs> I'll never forget when Stephanie had to be up on the stage and be presented with her ten thousand dollar check and she just did amazingly well and uh you know represented the community in a really good way and then she got the free arts message across in a quick amount of time we had she four thousand people standing outside waiting to get through our doors and she was there to support um the, the grand opening but then to support her own mission right yeah yeah I met her in um, 2000 as well and she's a big reason that I got involved too I was so moved by her passion for the entire mission of free arts and so they had a, the old Galleria when it was very vacant they had a the art from the heart auction and it was a big gala, and uh, turns out later now with my development education, it was a bust for the budget. But it was very nice, and it was well done, and it and it brought me there. And it was the first time I'd ever come across free arts. I, I hadn't heard of it, and it was actually a coworker of mine at the time that said, hey, you know, they need some more people to help with whatever, ushering, this, that, and the other. So I said, sure, I'll come, and met Stephanie, and saw some of the free arts literature, and I was in ever since then. So I myself am going into, it's been 10 years now, but really I got active about six years ago, like where it's a, a huge part of my, try to make it a big part of my life. So it's just so rewarding. And, you know, I, I'm sure like yourself, I, I don't know, I had a, you know, less than perfect childhood as well. And we had some struggle in my family and um, it just, you know, it's, it's so important to know that you can always create family from, other means and so I think that's a really important part of free arts too is that you can't help where what you're born into but you can certainly you you're you matter you have value and if you surround yourself with good people anything's possible well I had a really good upbringing but my parents always taught me that I need to give back that's wonderful and we volunteered as a family I volunteered on lots of different projects growing up so I'm very passionate about volunteering mm -hmm. but you know for me free arts is all about children and I love children it's not just because I work at Ikea and Ikea believes that right. children are the most important people in the world it's me as a person I love children and this is my way to be connected to children and it can be connected to art too so it's true it's I feel the same same way yeah and I mean children are so magical and it can they can turn a day around in a second and if you have a bad day they can just say something that makes you knocks you on your butt and gives you perspective on oh, what yes. really matters in life it's yep. so true they don't focus on little things and I should say that my mother and my grandmother everyone servitude was a big part of my upbringing as well and um 
My mother is an incredible woman, and so my parents divorced when I was six, and I have nothing to do with my dad, but my mom held us together, and she... I, I was very blessed to have a good childhood as well, so I don't want to diss my childhood. But, you know, I, I had some issues there with um, my biological father, and I just learned that, you know what, if you have one parent who cares, if you have an aunt, if you it doesn't matter who it is. If you have a free arts mentor, anyone who shows belief in you can pull you through any situation. So it's pretty awesome. It's pretty <laughs> awesome. I thought we were signing off. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so I just, I, I think for parting words of wisdom, what, what, what do you think, what do you have to say? Oh, wow. Um, I would love for anyone that's out there listening to really get more involved with the organization. They have 350 volunteers on their roster right now, but they're always looking for volunteers. They can, always use financial support and if someone wants to write a check or get on their web page and make a donation that would be great um if they want to come and be a part of our fundraising event at ikea on april 7th we'll have more details posted on the free arts web page soon so be on the look out for all those details and yeah. i agree yeah and just get involved. You know, it's so important that we get so busy on our everyday lives and we can always make time to give back to the community. We hope it's with free arts, but if it's not, it should be with someone. Find what your passion is and give back to the community. Yeah, and free arts works with so many different organizations. You know, I think it's like close to 110 different so agencies. True. So you're not only interacting with free arts, you're interacting with all their partner facilities. So, exactly. you know, you are being um, a part of the community and you're being you're going to be touched i think uh, probably a hundredfold with love and joy and and bring happiness to a child's face so. absolutely and the happiness they bring to you is immeasurable so it's a win-win <laughs>